بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today we are going to talk about the basics of mechanical automation I think uh, it is very important to understand what is this machine what's meant by this uh, ventilator uh, what's the function of this ventilator and this is uh, led us to uh, study the uh, ventilator cells what is the ventilator what is the uh, component of this ventilator how does this ventilator deliver the pressure to the patients and this is uh, the first uh, part to, uh, to talk. The Finnesian ventilator is a machine designed to alter, transmit, or direct applied energy, whether electric uh, uh, gases, uh, something like that, in a predetermined manner, in a preset data set for the, for the ventilator to augment or replace the patient muscles. For we, when we talk about ventilator, the ventilator is meant to replace the respiratory pump or to assist or to help the respiratory pump in performing the work of breathing. In short, this machine is meant to deliver breath to the patient. So uh, these ventilators were different types. The first, which is negative pressure ventilation, this is the star, the primitive one. And now they are starting to make uh, a new advanced technology and the development of negative pressure ventilations was still not uh, widely uh, used uh, worldwide. The second part, which is the very important part, this is our topic, which is the post pressure ventilation, which you deliver there to the patient through the endotracheal tube or to the the custom tube or to through the mess, face mask or to call that non-invasive post pressure ventilation or invasive uh, post pressure ventilation the last one which is uh, high frequency ventilation this is not uh, our topic today so this is the ventilator when you look at that uh, this is a ventilator is meant to deliver breath through this tube or to call tube circuit to the patients, whether non-invasive ones through the face mask or invasive through the endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube in order to deliver the air to the lung itself. So this is a ventilation. So this is uh, that's it. This is a ventilator which is connected to the electricity, to the air, to the to the oxygen, and then the processing uh, of this uh, uh, of this uh, uh, air uh, takes take, takes place here in this ventilator to deliver the breath to the patients in a certain manner, and then exhale back to the ventilator and to go outside. So this is the ventilator again. These are the input for the ventilation ventilator, which is electricity. It is run by electricity and it is supplied by air and supplied by oxygen in order to deliver the breath to the patient. So the composition is uh, formed of uh, a power point. And this is uh, electricity and this is a socket for electricity. And we have two other sockets with different colors, uh, when the different different uh, sockets itself. This is uh, this is an auction, one an auction, and the other is air. So this is uh, uh, this is the lever to the ventilator, and then the air and the, and the electricity are supplied uh, by high volt or high pressures uh, and these power transmissions uh, to down regulate the, this electric and gas load to uh, match the requirement of these uh, control circuits. And these control circuits are electric or electronic or pneumatic or flowed or something like that. This is an engineering uh, uh, process or engineering problem. But our one is control variables. This is the uh, number four, the control variables. What, what's meant by control variables? We are delivering air, we are delivering breath. What are the physical characters of this uh, delivered uh, breath, delivered air? It has a volume. And the, it has a flow and delivered in certain time and developed by certain pressures, by certain compositions of IO2. And these, uh, uh, these data are repeated how frequent uh, per minute. This is respiratory rate. So when we talk about the control variable, this is a physical, physical character of the breath itself. Physical character of the breath. You are delivering a breath, it has a volume, by certain flow rate per minute, in a certain time, with a certain pressure, and with certain compositions, and all these are repeated that how many times per minute. The second on the, the, the second part, which is a phase variable. First variable, this is that we are delivering air from this machine to this patient. 
this uh, the brush it is a physiology the machine as uh, this is a, 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 an engineering device so we have to match this uh, engineering device with the physiology of the patients uh, so we this has led us to divide the inspiratory the inspiratory cycle itself into different steps the first step which is what we call triggering Triggering with it, when the patient starts to take his breath, it changes from uh, expiration to inspiration. So, so we have to let the machine know that the patient is starting to take his breath. This is what we call triggering. And after that, uh, when the machine understands that the patient starts to take his breath, uh, he has to open, the machine has to open its uh, uh, demand valve to deliver air. And this uh, deliver of air, how 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 far how how much you deliver the air by by how, how uh, the the flow of uh, of this uh, of air how how much will be the flow and this is uh, what you call the rising time. So you have to define to the patient. You have to define to the ventilator to tell it. And the patient and the ventilator starts to deliver this air. And when he delivers this air, the air flows through the tracheal uh, bronchotracheal tree and then to inflate the lung producing some sort of pressure and this is according to the time of the, of the ventilator the, if you tell the ventilator that the patient uh, when the pressure reaches to certain value you have to down regulate the flow in order to keep this uh, don't this uh, this pressure don't exceed this pressure this is uh, what you call in a pressure controlled uh, 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 time of ventilator or sometimes you tell the, the ventilator just give a flow to deliver certain volume so the deliver of certain volume and this flow will and will produce some sort of pressures and these pressures in this case uh, you tell the, the machine this is a limit if it exceeds just give me alarm we're going to talk about this so this is the limit whether alarm or not be exceeded alarm and volume control or not be to be exceeded and pressure control and the machine asks you am i going to continue delivering this uh, this flow or this volume endless or to certain limits you yeah, know you tell it uh, that uh, if you deliver say certain tidal volume and just close the inspiratory uh, uh, limb no more deliver of oxygen no more deliver of air this is uh, one or you tell it uh, if you deliver after a certain time you stop it you close this uh, in spite of lamp or you tell it please uh, when the flow decreases to certain level just close it so this is uh, the what you call cycle of so you end the inspiration but you end the inspiration by different techniques according to the different modes according to the ventilator and when you when you close that when you close this inspiratory lamp you have to open the uh, the expiratory lamp because it is closed system if it is an open system it will not it will not act so you open the, the expiratory uh, uh, valve to exhale for to, to let the patient exhale and when the patient exhales this uh, he will exhale this uh, whole tidal volume to reach to reach to reach to the basal to the basal level which is the function of the capacity or to keep some volume to be above the function of the capacity what you call the P. so this is uh, the phase fiber so this is uh, 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 a, a, a way to make to let the ventilator understand uh, the phases uh, of delivery of uh, oxygen uh, of the of the breast to the patient and so this is the triggering we have said change from expiration to inspirations this is uh, triggering the, the ventilator to understand that the patient starts to take his breath uh, through change in the flow, you set the value, change in the pressure, you set the value, or the patient is paralyzed uh, and it is an order, so no triggering. In this case, uh, the patient, the, 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 the ventilator will deliver the breath, uh, uh, say, every five or four or three uh, seconds, uh, and this is the volume, change in the volume, this is not common. And after opening uh, the demand valve, this is the flow. There is a flow which is uh, predetermined. Uh, sometimes uh, you said to the ventilator just uh, when you start, start by certain flow in order to match the demand of the patient. This is the rising, and after that, uh, it will reach to a certain level of the, of the pressures. And these pressures uh, may be uh, target pressures uh, which should not be exceeded in pressure control or pressure support, uh, or this may be an alarm. 
may be exceeded or be less or more as in case volume controlled in this case the ventilator will give you alarm that uh, you are exceeding the the set uh, value or he didn't he will not give you an alarm because you are still below it and after that you terminate this uh, this press uh, by certain determinant after delivery of certain volume or after certain flow decrease in certain flow or, or after certain time or after certain pressure this is the problem of this is this is cycle of terminations of the inspirations and this means that you will close the inspiratory lamp and after that the expiratory lamp might be open and, or you keep it uh, closed for some time this is what called inspiratory both so the inspiratory lamp has been closed and then, uh, 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 and uh, the uh, expiratory lamp is still closed and so no movement of air so the, the, there is a drop in the pressure and this is the measurements of, of the blood to what we call the blood to pressure or the pressure exerted that in the alveoli due to inflation due to the inflation of this alveoli what you call the blood two pressures and after that you open it and there is that exhalations of this side of volume go back to the uh, function zero capacity or cell above the band function zero capacity what we call the peep this uh, the uh, following point which is the condition value condition value means if something happens you do something this is a psi psi in uh, this is uh, they used to say that if you deliver certain tidal volume monotonous the same tidal volume this might lead to some sort uh, of uh, 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 dysfunction of the lung and uh, you have to change that uh, you have to mi uh, uh, mimic the uh, uh, normal physiology this is change in the tidal volume so you give uh, certain tidal volume should be delivered by a little bit higher than the normal by certain rate uh, whether it is uh, multiple or single per minute this is uh, SI and the function of this SI is to uh, open the electrolytic alveoli and it is sometimes increase the uh, oxygenation the, uh, the another important point which is the apnea uh, we are going to see to know that uh, the ventilations uh, may be spontaneous or mandatory spontaneous that the patient starts the patient takes his breath uh, uh, starts the uh, the the the, pre, the pressure and determines the pressure and so the rate uh, uh, will be that of the patients uh, and at the same time the tidal volume and everything these are data you're going to discuss uh, later so this is what we call the spontaneous breathing so the, uh, we will ask ourselves if what will happen if the patient stops breathing uh, or the press of the patients starts to decrease uh, no, uh, to give a minute volume which, should, which is not matching the demand of the patients. In this case, uh, you have to give the uh, the uh, you have to supply the ventilator by certain data, what we call apnea data, telling the, the uh, giving the, the the ventilator data. If the patient uh, uh, starts to take a pause, a larger pause of inspiration, he stopped breathing for 10 or 15 or 20 or 12 seconds. You have to start. Uh, uh, mandatory ventilation. So you have to uh, start this apnea ventilation, which is mandatory ventilation, obliging the patient, obliging the patient to take uh, the rate and the the value of the data by the ventilator, not the patient uh, data. Or to tell to tell the ventilator if the respiratory rate decreased uh, less than 10 or less than 8 uh, uh, breaths per minute. Uh, in this case, uh, you have to start apnea ventilation. So in this case, you you should uh, put the data for the apnea ventilation, which is a mandatory data. If the patient is uh, on volume controlled or the patient controlled, you have to put, we are going to talk about it, uh, volume controlled, you should uh, put uh, the tidal volume and uh, pressure controlled, you should uh, put the inspector time with the pressure, uh, with the B-max pressure, uh, uh, the B-max for, for the patient. So this is, uh, uh, these are the conditioned variables, so you have to take care for, for, for the patient. Flow, uh, waveforms, this uh, varies and this is uh, in some sometimes it is mandatory for certain uh, for cer for certain uh, 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 modes of ventilations if the patient says the volume control for sure this will be square if he's uh, on the pressure control uh, this may be uh, descending or decelerating uh, and there is a difference between this uh, and regarding the inflation of the alveoli and regarding the oxygenation and decelerating is more bad uh, to come to the uh, last point of uh, the types of respirations, uh, we divided the modes of the respirations into either spontaneous respiration, spontaneous respirations when the patient triggers and the patient terminates. The cycle of is that of the patient and the inspiration is that of the patient, so we call it a spontaneous uh, cycle but uh, it may be mandatory and this may be mandatory maybe uh, 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 maybe the uh, there are two types of mandatory the patient uh, might trigger 
and the cycle are done by the ventilator that's controlled that and mandatory ventilations triggering and cycling are done by the ventilator if the patient is paralyzed in this case said uh, the triggering and the terminations will be that of the ventilator so this is controlled mandatory ventilations and this is uh, uh, mandatory or sometimes uh, the patient trigger and the ventilator terminates as in case of assisted control when the, the patient start to trigger and the, the ventilator completes the cycle and the cycle off is that of the ventilator as in case of uh, uh, volume controlled mandatory ventilations thank you